Hi everyone, this is Anil. Welcome to the video on uh, Jira to Service Now integration. So, as part of this video, I'll demonstrate how to create an incident in Service Now when a new uh, issue is uh, created in Jira. Uh, to enable the integration, we are using uh, webhooks in Jira, a scripted rate REST API in Service Now, and outbound uh, REST message in Service Now. Uh, so, I will show the list of uh, steps involved. Uh, in this integration. The first step is to create a scripted REST API in ServiceNav and in the URL parameter I'm going to pass the issue ID. So this uh, REST API is what will be consumed by uh, Jira webhook uh, and it will pass the issue that is created. Uh, once we have this uh, API invoked then uh, the API script will call uh, ServiceNav outbound REST message which basically uh, queries uh, Jira environment uh, to get the issue details. Uh, so this is how the API looks like, the API endpoint. And once we retrieve the issue details, we'll parse the data uh, to get relevant information from that uh, JSON output. And then we will create an incident in ServiceNav. So I'll, I'll do a quick demo, and then I'll also do a code walkthrough. Uh, so first, I'll create an issue in uh, Jira. I click on create test summary uh, and I'll change this to 312 let's say 1818 and then I'll also put a description I'll cut a description and I click on create so now they should create a uh, incident in service now so I'll go to service now environment so this is my service now environment I'll click on active incidents to see if an incident is created so you can see that a new incident got created just now uh, it has a jira number as 10593 and this is the summary and if i open the record i can see that the short description and the description match the summary and the description of the jira issue right so uh, so i have entered these values uh, on jira side and this is what is uh, popular on service now side uh, now we will look at the scripted REST message and the outbound uh, REST message as well. And then we'll also see the webhook on Jira. So we'll see all three. So first we'll see scripted REST API. So click, I'll open this uh, scripted REST API. So you can see that the API is having an API ID as this. And it has one resource, which is create Jira issue. And it has a path parameter as id and in the script i'm reading the path parameter as uh, which is id and i'm calling uh, a function called get, get issue details which basically makes a, a rest message call uh, using this outbound rest message uh, and it uses this get method in this rest message i'll open this as well and show you but the output of this will be a json object uh, which i'm parsing here uh, and uh, to get summary, I'm using this uh, uh, expression to parse the summary and get this value. Uh, to parse the JSON object and get this value. And similarly for description, I'm doing this, the same steps. right? So once I get summary and description, I'm uh, writing a simple CLAD record on incident table and then uh, creating a record on uh, uh, incident table. I'm passing the correlation display as Jira. So we know that it is coming from Jira system. And correlation ID is the issue ID. So this is the end-to-end uh, -end, uh, flow in terms of how the creation is happening. Now we'll look at the outbound REST message and the webhook. Uh, so this is the REST message. And, and this is the HTTP method, which is a get method uh, called get issue details. And this method has a variable substitution, uh, which is issue ID. Right. Uh, I'll also show how the response looks like from Jira. Uh, so we look at the Jira documentation to see how uh, issue details uh, JSON looks like. So if you see here, uh, this is the developer.atlation.com website, which has uh, uh, the API details, right? So here under issues, we have get issue. And if you scroll down, this is how the uh, response looks like. So here uh, we need description, so I'm going to uh, uh, like navigate to description and then get the text of description 
so this is how I got the description and similarly a summary also we are doing the same steps right but if you want any additional details then you can look at the uh, sample message uh, and then uh, uh, try to retrieve that information uh, next we'll sorry so next we'll look at the uh, webhook so if you go here this is how the webhook looks like right so here i'm passing the url in the webhook and the issue id is what is being dynamically passed and events basically tell you when this will be invoked so issue created is when the yeah, the check the check mark is created which means whenever issue is created this webhook is invoked you can also add uh, updated if needed right you can also write a filter if you want so that you don't want to uh, invoke this on every single issue but if you want to do it only on selective issues then you can also do it through this uh, filter uh, uh, condition right uh, and you also have an option to pass other parameters in the url if needed uh, i was uh, i'm only passing issue id but you can also pass any other information as well in the url so this is how the webhook looks like so we also we have seen the scripted uh, rest message the outbound rest message and then we also have seen the the end-to-end -end, uh, uh, working of this uh, integration right i'll do a quick recap uh, so if i go to the steps we can see that the first step is to create a scripted rest api and then we use that uh, api url in the webhook and then uh, we create a outbound rest message uh, to get the issue details now this is how the uh, api url looks like on the jira side and then uh, once we get the data from uh, this api it's a json object so we'll parse that get the required attributes or uh, values and then we'll create an incident in service now based on those values uh, so this is how the integration works thank you